Well, good morning, guys. Caught me at uh, one of the least glamorous parts of raising quail. That's cleaning out their coop. The uh, little hens were beating the heck out of the roosters, so I put them out on the uh, floor in here again, and they seem to be handling that much better. I did uh, a little bit of canning of quail, made some quail soup out of them, turned out really good. I just canned the, uh, the broth and the meat and the veggies, the noodles will have to be added in after, otherwise they turn to mush. But this week I got 70 eggs from the quail, so they all went in the incubator again. I found out that butchering quail is a heck of a lot easier than chicken. We'll see how many hatch out of that batch. This morning I was making soup, bean and uh, ham soup, to can. I'm a big fan of soup during the uh, wintertime months, so and I'm too lazy to fix it on a normal basis, so when I get the ambition up to fix a big vat, I'll make a big vat and then can it up. We still try to get out here and work on the uh, porch somewhat, but we'll see what's going on here in a bit. There's the happy quail once again. Nice clean pen. After making this soup this morning and then cleaning out the uh, quail pen, I got uh, to thinking I better get this soup canned up. Ham was on sale last week for like $1.75 a pound, so I picked up a 12 pounder. Just put seven quarts in there. There'll be plenty of soup for the next six months to a year of this variety anyhow. I still got enough ham to make some split pea soup. Probably another, I don't know, 14 quarts or so. So anyhow, I'll get back at you when some of that soup comes out of the canner. Well guys, there we go. 14 quarts of bean and ham soup. So this little breakfast segment is brought to you by Carl's Off Grid. He made a comment on the Sunday morning's uh, video about wanting some of my quail eggs. But here they are, Carl. Anytime you're ready to come on over and get some. These uh, clippers are mandatory for quail eggs. You just cut the top right off. Dump the egg out. And because they're small, I tend to fix about a dozen of them. Little fried eggs. My little pile of eggs for today, or this morning anyhow, I got uh, 17 total. And we're getting a ton of snow. The uh, storm finally passed this morning. We had about a total of eight inches. Now the uh, wind and brutal temperatures are supposed to follow behind it. So we'll see how cold it gets. Right now, the uh, wind chill factor is like 12 below, 14 below here. It's supposed to cool off during the day, down to somewhere around 6 below. So we'll It's uh, 16 degrees with a wind chill of 7. Not as bad as what it's been. Earlier this week we had, uh, I think, 24 below wind chill factors. 
So I'm just trying to get everything started and fire it up. Of course, everything cold and doesn't want to work, kind of like this old man. Okay, guys, while I get this uh, everything rolling here, I'll throw a few clips of what the past week has been like. A few pictures of the last job. This coming week now I'll be back up at the lake house try to get some more siding on. It entailed a bunch of uh, 9 by 8 patio doors, a 6 by 8 patio door, and then multiple windows that had to go in some exterior walls along with a bunch of framing on the interior. Then we pulled out a ceiling of one room to extend the living area and had to and had to create a cathedral ceiling from what was a flat ceiling so that entailed a little bit of cutting some trusses and rebuilding of them but uh, I didn't get a lot of footage of it because again it's a lot of different contractors being in there and just too tough but I did take some pictures and then a few uh, little clips of the uh, intensity of the job Well guys, I had to uh, quit for a bit, <clears throat> nothing was working, the air compressor wouldn't run. Once I got that running, the uh, air nailer froze up, then the hose froze up. And now uh, temperature jumped from 16 this morning to uh, 24, and just at 8 degrees seems like everything's starting to work a little bit now, so I'm going to keep trudging along and hopefully I can get some of this in. Really makes a tough day when nothing's working, right? Like, like that. 
Well guys, still nothing working very well, but uh, getting a little better. Uh, I do want to make a comment. I did uh, get my chimney parts ordered for the uh, wood cook stove and all that. So, with luck, in a week or two, I'll get that installed. Get a light a fire inside and at least heat up some of the tools so they start working a little better in the winter. Now that I warmed up a bit, seems like things are going a little better. But as you see, I've gotten quite a bit done since. I'm up to the second set of four lights now, so I'll do some cutting around that. Cut out for my uh, lights, and then the post sets in the way. Well, look, by the time I get it cut, hopefully it'll fit. Well guys, I ran out of material. These got too big of a bow in them to use here, so I'm gonna try using them on the back porch. I just fought like heck trying to get them in place, so I think it's just easier to get some new ones. But I gotta go run around and try to find uh, some more of this beadboard. Guys, by the time I got back from a uh, big box store finding this, uh, beadboard here it was already dark so I had to wait till this morning to start putting it on and of course with morning comes more headaches of stuff freezing up so I think I got everything running good now so we'll see anyhow stay tuned Throws up a little bit. Well guys, now that the ceiling's done, in here, I'm gonna put my battens on this wall here. So I think I'll start doing that. I think I can get the majority of it done before I have to get this video out. If I don't get this video out, uh, my ex-father-in-law will have a conniption fit.
Okay guys, uh, as you can see behind me, I got the ceiling all in and uh, started on the battens, but the belly started rumbling too much. I gotta go get something to eat and I gotta get the uh, rest of this video edited, put together. So until the next time, we see everybody later. And hope everybody's enjoying life out there. Till then, take care and stay safe.